All right. Sniper Elite V2 Remastered. I just picked this up last night, and I guess this is going to be kind of different. This will be the closest to an angry rant style that you hear from me. And even then, it's not... I don't really get angry because I'm a pretty mellow guy. But I've, I've always enjoyed this one, so I picked it up and was pleasantly surprised at first. I was pleasantly surprised that it has Steam input API, like native Steam controller support. So what that means is like, you know, instead of binding mouse, yeah, movement, look around, because it'll be more obvious, like here. They put in all, you know, they bind, they support the controller natively. Which is cool. You know, the the benefit of that is like, for instance, in games, you know, something like Arma or Star Citizen, where I'm fighting trying to get everything bound in, you know, you could just have multiple, like, well... It's an interact, it's traverse, it's pick up body. You know, all these different actions that they define can get bound to that input. But where it became frustrating, it's like, okay, see here, this is, it's, this isn't even finished yet. Like I'm not ready to share this, but this is me tweaking around a lot of what they had. Cause I mean, they didn't put left pad for movement, which uh, I get it. I mean, really, that should be an option. You should probably make two configs. that One for people who still like the left stick, one for the left pad. But let's go back to the official one so I can go over. It's all right. Here, you can see what we got. Movement on the left stick. The entire left pad is just a D-pad, and oh yeah, it requires click. Why? Why? Nobody, <laughs> any of us who use a Steam controller, we don't click. Like, you, you make it a tap if you're going to do something like that. No gyro, not used at all anywhere. Bumpers are just rifle and previous weapon. Like what? The bumpers, or the grips... See, I'm getting so angry, I can't even talk straight. <laughs> but no, I mean, like, the, the grips become so important to many of our configs, like jump and crouch and all kinds of, you know, primary actions, not just, like, D-pad. <sighs> and then, <laughs> calm down. But what, what really was like, what? Are you serious? Shoot is only on a full pull. Why? Why would you do that? I, I don't... I'm baffled. So anyways, like a lot of that. It was just... wasn't a huge deal. Like, whatever, I'll just go through and tweak it all around. It's, I mean, it's kind of a pain in the ass to tweak native game, native supported games, because you just have to bind a lot more. But like, even in here, like I, if I go to additional settings, there's no mode shift, no clicking on the pad for extra things. No double tap binding, zero acceleration. It just, it doesn't feel very good. Like that's me moving the entire pad distance. I'm only moving like what, 30 degrees? It's not very far at all. And no gyro. So then I switch over to my tweaks. You know, with my all the way, I'm like doubling it at least. Plus I have the gyro. I added the scope to the full pull. But really it just got me thinking, why why are so many official developer configs just so terrible? And I think what it really comes down to is they make their controller support for, you know, Xbox and PlayStation and probably aren't really using a Steam controller, so they don't get 
all the benefits of the Steam Controller, which brings me to the main point, like, if you don't have experience with it, why don't you reach out to the community? Like, those of us who use Steam Controller all the time would be more than happy to be a consultant, whatever, like, not fishing for a free game, give us access to some closed beta, sign an NDA, whatever, and just tell you what makes the most sense for this controller. Like even this, I just made the binoculars be a double double tap on the pad. That feels a lot better than having to click. Yeah, I don't know. It's just it's it has been my experience always that the official developer config is basically as bare bones as possible just a port of Xbox controls. Not really taking advantage of dual stage triggers, not taking advantage of Mode shift clicking ever. I've never seen that in any developer config. Some use the gyro, but a lot don't. They hardly ever use the left pad for movement, which gives you better, more surface area and better control once you get used to it. But yeah, it just becomes a little frustrating. But that's, that's pretty much it. I just wanted to grumble a little bit. Just... <laughs> I'm sure I'm sure I'm not the only one who feels like that from using a steam controller like come on man just use it for a little bit understand the benefits get the the grips full stage triggers soft press full press mode shift clicking like we we have evolved beyond <laughs> Your console standard stick face buttons of the proletariat. Yeah, I guess I kind of sound like a sound like a bit of an asshole there, but I just wish they would reach out to get somebody on their team to play with Steam Controller before they make their configs. I mean, I don't particularly want to have to always make my own profile. It would be nice if everything was just in there. Like, oh yeah, they got it. They tweaked it, dialed it in. Feels good. But no, it's like that. I just, I gotta go back because it was so bad. Ugh. <laughs> no acceleration. Hardly look. Yeah, I can't full pull. So for here, I have to click on the bumper to go down scope. Which doesn't make any sense. I'd want to be like... Shoulder aim and then click straight in, which I can only do it if I switch the way I hold my fingers. But anywho, that's, that's my little... Oh, see, I'm trying to... Trying to move, but it's not. I have to click to switch anything. Ugh. Oh. No. I gotta go. I gotta get. Gotta get back. Gotta get back. Ugh. It's better. It's all right. As angry as I'll ever get, rant complete. Now, if you'll excuse me, I'm gonna go explode some people's testicles. <laughs> 